Hey guys and girls, how's it going? And welcome to our 50k subscriber Q&A. I've been taking a couple of days off recently. I thought I'd take three days off, have a bit of a long weekend, and enjoy myself. And now it's time to get back into it. So I thought let's do our 50k Q&A. I don't know if this is going to be a one part or a two part. We're going to see. We've got a lot of questions to go through. I've tried to get as many of them together as I can. Some of them, a lot of them, you know, are kind of the same thing. So I've tallied them down into just one question, which is, I think, a pretty good way of doing it. And in the background, while we do this, we're going to have a bit of Banished. Because I was playing with some of the Banished mods a couple of days back. I thought, you know what, I'll record some of it for our 50k Q&A session, which I think is going to be, you know, alright. I like to do it in a way that you don't have to actually watch the video. You can go and put your phone on the side, or you can do something else on your computer. I think that's a good way of doing it. But, you know, if you enjoy Banished, well, here's a bit of early game Banished for you. <laughs> alright. So, let's get on with the question. So, first one is, what is my age? I am a grand total of 25. I know, it's a scary age. But that is exactly the age that I'm at. And I've, I've enjoyed every year of my life so far. So, yes. Number two. What happened to Hexit? So, let's. I got this one early. I put it in straight away. Because I thought, you know, let's just get this one out of the way. Because I get asked this every q and I get asked it almost, like, at least three times a week. <laughs> what happened to the original Hexit? And it's a real easy answer. Um, I've said this many a times before. The reason we stopped doing the original Hexit was because... I got bored of it. That's pretty much it. I've been doing two and a half series worth. We've covered all the content in it. So I didn't really have anything left to do. And it took a long time to do the episodes. You know, you just eventually get tired of something. And I got tired of Hexit. I'm not going to produce a video of something that I don't enjoy playing. Because it's going to, you know, the it's not going to come out very well. It's not going to be good for you guys to watch, watching me play something that I'm forcefully having to make myself enjoy, and it's not going to be fun for me to record it either, so yeah, it's kind of my policy. If I don't enjoy doing something, I won't do it, because it will show in the videos, and even though some of you guys might be annoyed that I don't do it, well, it's going to be a bad video anyway, so you're not really missing out on much. <laughs> there we go. PC setup. What is my PC setup? To be honest, I don't really know half the bits. I kind of got a custom-made one, but I know some of them. So, currently, I have two 670s, GTX 670s. I have a i7, something something K. I think it's a 2550 or something around about there. Um, I have two terabyte hard drives, uh, a 500 gig SSD, which I record onto. Uh, what are the other bits? I use a uh, I use a Star Trooper case, which is pretty funky. I like it. Um, I have a 1K power supply, PSU, mm -hmm. and 16 uh, 16 gig RAM. I think that's about it. <laughs> There's probably more technical mumbo jumbo in there, but that's about the uh, you know the bread and butter of it. So yeah, <laughs> uh, let's have a look at another one. I've got these all written down in front of me at the minute, so I'm kind of slowly making my way through them. This is probably going to be. A two parter. I can already feel it now. We're like four minutes in. I've got tons of questions to answer. <laughs> Here we go. So, will we ever do a modded sub server? I get asked this a fair bit. And I would like to. I would like to. But it's the uh, monetary expense behind it. That's the biggest problem. Some people don't realize that have to have a large server. Like, you know, we've got 50,000 subscribers now. If I was to give out a. Uh, video saying come and join us, I would have to, I can't take like 50 because that's such a small percentage of that 50k, I'd feel really, really bad. Um, and I don't want to kind of, you know, auction off, or not auction off, I don't want to have competitions for spaces and things like that because some people are going to be left out, you know, some people are going to be a little bit salty about it. So, yeah, it would need to be a big one and that costs a lot of money and that's a lot of man time as well, you know, things crash, mod packs crash. People get a little bit antsy now and then. You get that troublemaker that needs a slap. You know, you always get that one person, don't you? And uh, it just becomes an absolute pain. So I've kind of stayed away from it. Maybe when the channel gets larger and uh, the you know I've got the money to do stuff like that and uh, a decent you know a decent amount of people to help out with it. Then yeah, but at the minute all my time pretty much goes into producing videos whenever I have the time to do YouTube stuff And I think that's better, you know, I prefer to put my time into doing videos for you guys 
instead of having to sort out issues and problems like that. So, yeah. Well, maybe, but 50-50. Who knows? What is my favourite tea? <laughs> oh, my lord. There is two favourite teas. I am British. So I very much am a lover of tea. I have a cup of tea right next to me at the minute. I do say that if you're watching this, maybe it's a good idea to go get yourself a cup of tea or coffee and relax a little bit. I'm just going to have a quick sip right here. There we go. So, what is my favourite tea? Well, if it's a general tea, we'll just go with absolutely anything, doesn't really matter. But if it's a special occasion, depending on the type of month it is, I know this is very, uh, very extreme, but if it's a warm day, I would like to go with a cup of Lady Grey. I know. And if it's a very, uh, you know, if it's the opposite, then I'll go with a Earl Grey. They both have a very corresponding taste that I think suits a, t a certain, a certain finesse of the uh, wintry and summer months. <laughs> there you go, coming from a true British gentleman right there. Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't really go up the gentleman part, but we, we're close, we're close. <laughs> All right, do I have a wife or a girlfriend? No, I don't have a wife. I've never really, uh, it's not something that's on the uh, cards for me at the minute. I'm not really thinking about it. Uh, I was in a long-term relationship. I've been in loads of long-term relationships. I'm one of those guys that when I get someone, I kind of, you know, I settle in, uh, but... I had a, my last girlfriend, I was with for four years, and we split up about a year ago, about a year and a half ago, a year ago now, I think. We kind of just grew apart, we went our separate ways, you know, she wanted different things, I wanted different things. Um, I'm not really one for the whole settling down thing, I'm not there just yet, so whenever houses <laughs> and children and things like that start coming up, I, uh, kind of think, yeah, this is going the wrong way. <laughs> now, luckily, that didn't happen with this last one, but the one before that kind of went that way. And uh, you have to, you know, kind of politely say, that's not really what I'm after. You know, if you want that kind of thing, brilliant, but I'm not the one going to be giving that to you. <laughs> and that generally doesn't go down very well, let me tell you that. So, yeah, but, you know, I'm uh, definitely... Looking and things like that, we'll see. I, I don't, I, I'm one of the type of people that doesn't push to find a girlfriend, you know, try and find a spouse, a uh, equilibrium between myself and a woman. I generally don't go for that sort of stuff. I let it kind of happen. I think that's a better way of doing it. You know, you're out and about, you might meet someone. You might share conversations, have a cup of Earl Grey, Lady Grey, depending on the uh, time of year. And, uh, you know, the conversation will flow. And before you know it, oh, it gets a bit serious. So that's, uh, that's the kind of way I like floating my boat. So, what's my favourite mod pack? Has to be Hexit. I know earlier I said that I got bored of doing the original Hex episodes, but that still doesn't mean, you know, that means it's it still doesn't mean that it's not a good pack. I think it's an absolutely brilliant pack. It's probably one of my favourite packs, probably one of the most ones I had the most enjoyment with, and if I had the chance to play it all over again, as if I'd never played it before, I would play that. So I highly recommend to anyone that hasn't played the original Hexit mod pack that's into the whole adventure kind of thing. You know, a mod pack that's a little bit different, not your average FTB mod pack, Hexit is the one. So, yeah, I love that. I just loved how different it was. I love the mod selection in it. It was a mod selection list that had practically never been put, you know, put together before. And it just fit. So, you know, I take my hat off to the guy who made the original Hexit mod pack. I don't think he works for the uh, Technics team anymore. Um, but, yeah, he is a legend. <laughs> Highest level of education. Uh, I kind of have jumped around from... Uh, Edu educational facilities in my time. My highest form of education probably comes from a, uh, a music degree. I went to, basically, I wasn't too good in school. I wasn't a bad guy in school. I wasn't one of those annoying kids. I wasn't a troublemaker. I just didn't really enjoy it that great deal, but that didn't stop me from going. I wasn't one of those kind of kids, you know, don't put me in that group. I went through regular school. I went through, I went to sixth form instead of going to college. And I did all of that. And after I finished that, I was going to go straight into getting a job because I thought that would suit me a little bit better. I could, you know, get yourself onto the uh, get yourself onto the job workplaces, start working your way up the ladder. And before I did that, I decided, you know what, I really enjoy music. I've been teaching it for a little while, privately doing guitar lessons and stuff. I want to go to a music college. So I went and did that. I went to a place in a area called Exeter down in the UK or down in the south of the UK. And that is where I got a degree in music. So yeah, and what's come from that so far? Don't really know. 
<laughs> was it worth it? Yeah, it was a great laugh. I loved every, every little bit of it. You know, if you have a chance to go to higher education, some people think, oh, it's going to be boring. But you look at the social side of it. It's, it's a brilliant laugh. So, yeah, I highly recommend that. Whatever you just decide to do, you do something. You only live once. Oh, cool beans. So, let's move on with the questions. We're on, like, eight or nine or something, and I've got a good 50. <laughs> yes. Woo, we might have to start speeding up a little bit. We're already 10 minutes in. Are you a wizard? Yes. <laughs> Easy. Why no face cam? I've actually done face cam stuff before. I guess some people are obviously quite new to this channel. Or they came in about halfway through. I have done face cam stuff before. I generally, if I live stream, I do face cam stuff. I did do some face cam in a Magic Farm series. A long time back. I did a few episodes and then... I realized that that mod pack really wasn't for me. It was a little bit too uh, monotonous, I would say. Not a bad mod pack, but it kind of, you know, I'm not into the whole constant grind without some sort of goal. So it didn't really work for me. Um, but yeah, I did a face cam in that, so you can go see that. It's on the channel somewhere. Uh, but there's that one. Favorite game apart from Minecraft? Hmm. That's a hard one. I jump between stuff, you know, like kind of like how I run my channel. <laughs> I, uh, you know, I'll find something interesting for a while, and I'll jump to something else, jump to this. I, I can't place myself into one thing for a long time. Um, but the ones that I've had the uh, most enjoyment from, probably the Final Fantasy series. I used to love those. Doing the YouTube now is a little bit harder because I put a lot of time into what I'm actually doing for videos, not what I'm playing in my free time, so I don't get to play too many games. But the favourite ones I used to have before I was heavily involved in YouTube is probably... Final Fantasy. Yeah, I used to absolutely love that game. I really enjoyed DayZ as well, the mod for Armor 2. I really like that. I haven't properly played the actual DayZ game. I've got it on Steam. I've had a few goes of it, but I haven't played it in like six months plus. So I'm sure a lot has changed, you know, since then. But yeah, that's, that's that one. Uh, how did I start YouTube? Advice to new starters. Oh, this is going to be a hard one. <laughs> how did I start YouTube? I was working in a electronics good department, and me, of the, me and three of the guys there decided that we were going to go and make videos on YouTube to help people out with the products that they could be buying. Was we any good at it? No. <laughs> Not at all. But we tried. <coughs> oh, sorry. But we tried. And the first video I ever did was on a HP touchpad. And it was recorded in my bathroom on the floor because it was the brightest area on top of a towel and I showed it all off and stuff. It was, it was something. <laughs> Let me tell you that. And I moved from then on to doing games. Uh, we did one on... A few games a long time back. I kind of did more indie-ish games. I just found stuff on Steam that I think looked pretty good. So I did videos on that. I did Rock of Ages, a couple of others. And eventually we moved on to multiplayer. So we started doing things like uh, Left 4 Dead. We did some Left 4 Dead videos. I used to play with a few people back then. And eventually I moved on to Minecraft. But what originally got me into it was the side that we were into the electronic stuff. We thought it would be fun to do videos on it. We didn't really expect anything to come from it. It was just more of a challenge to us. One of the guys wanted to do vlog stuff on there. I did electrical stuff. And there was like three or five of us and we all did our own thing. You know, so we had someone doing a let's play. It was very random. <laughs> Let me tell you that. And that wasn't on this channel. That was on a channel before this. I did have a channel I ran before this. But that was more of a joint venture. It ended up being just me in the end. And then I moved it because of the past experience from it and what we originally did on that. I thought the channel was very kind of here, there and everywhere. So I decided to set my own thing up and just think, you know, this is going to be the one I'm going to focus on and that's the channel we are now. What would I give advice for people that want to start new ones? Find something that you really enjoy and stick to it. You know, don't make videos on what you think you should be making videos on. Do it on what you enjoy. And if you don't enjoy doing something, stop. <laughs> Literally stop it, you know, if it's going to annoy people that are watching your videos, then so be it I know it's really harsh to say that but if you're not enjoying something You're just gonna get worse and worse. You're not going to improve. You're not going to Get you're not gonna get any better at all. It's just a downhill cycle. 
so make sure that you stick with something that you thoroughly enjoy and work on those aspects from there you know you're commentating you're talking you're picking pieces of information you're the hardest part is actually talking about what you're thinking when you're staring at a computer screen with a microphone in front of you and no one else in the room it does feel a little bit weird at first and you will eventually get used to it but you need to public speaking isn't something that's actually that easy and i know it's not public because well you there's no one else around but you are really publicly speaking and you know they have lessons for that sort of stuff it's not easy it took me a long time to relax and talk freely about what i'm thinking and what i want to say without having too many ums ahs and all that sort of stuff you know that takes a long time to stop doing a real long time and i still do it now i still do it all the time but you kind of you have to kind of stop doing that if you want to get a decent conversation out which is which is hard and that's the main thing you need to be able to make a conversation with your viewers but in reality you're making a conversation with yourself because no one's replying to you <laughs> and that's what's hard you know that's what's awkward to do but eventually you'll get used to it you want to work on those things i used to do recording sessions where i would have on one side of my monitor the things that i want to improve on so i used to have like a little uh, chart up saying no ums and ahs and every time i was recording and i went to do it like you know when you're gonna do it i would look at that side of my screen i'll go nope and instead i would just pause and sometimes you'll hear it in my videos like sometimes i'll be talking and i will get to a point where i'm about to um and ah and i'll pause and then i'll move on to a different conversation and that's just you know i've slowly built it into me i think it's a much better way of doing it it's a little bit more professional and one thing that i do do which i really want to get out of doing is saying and i know i know it's one of those things that you guys might not notice you're probably going to notice it now. But instead of umming and ahhing, I end up saying and a lot. And I've kind of built that horrible little thing into me that I need to get out of eventually. But yeah, we're kind of moving off the subject here. <laughs> Advice to new starters. Find stuff that you enjoy and stick to it. Don't, don't do things that people think you, you know, what they tell you to do. If there's something that they want you to play and they keep banging on at you about it, just, 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 just blame, just, you know, just forget about them. I know, I know it kind of sucks, but you need to do what you enjoy. Your content will improve that way. Pick parts that you think should be better and work on them, you know, put up a tally chart, make yourself a spreadsheet of some description or just write them down on your hand. It doesn't really, doesn't make a difference, you know, if you're looking at your keypad doing stuff, you're going to see it on your hand, aren't you? So just write on there, no ums and ahs keep a conversation going for longer than five minutes try and be a little bit more vocal work on your work on the way that you pronounce things you know stop slurring there's so many things that you can be doing but yeah there you go that's a little bit just a little bit i could go on for ages about that but we're almost 20 minutes in <laughs> what is your favorite magic mod batania easy batania 100%. I love Farmcraft. I love Ars Magica. There's tons of magic mods out there that half of you probably never even heard of that I've played with because I make it my job to learn that sort of stuff. But Batania, it sticks out, it does stuff differently, and it's the one mod that really pushes the boundaries on what you can do and does it in an interesting way. You know, it tries not to be the generic mod that every other mod is, which I have a lot of respect for Basky for doing that. Uh, what is my favorite tech mod? So many people are going to disagree with this. I know it, 100%. Everyone's probably thinking thermal expansion, big reactors, mm, Ender IO. But you, I bet you don't expect this one coming out. <laughs> my favorite one is Industrial Craft 2. Yep, I love it. <laughs> I know some people absolutely despise it, and most people will avoid using it. But I'm from a Minecraft modded time where we only had Buildcraft and Industrial Craft 2. And that's kind of been built into me ever since I started doing that. Industrial Craft 2, absolutely love it. The changes that have been made with it, maybe, I don't think they're as good as they originally could have been. Since it was, you know, the, the experimental version started coming out. But, yeah. Industrial Craft 2, still one of my favourite mods. Don't know why, I just, I just love it. I'm just used to it. It's one of those things. There's many of other good mods out there, like I said, Thermal Expansion, Big Reactors, things like Ender I.O. They're all good, but to me, Industrial Craft is the winner. Favourite utility mod? Uh, I don't really know what your class is utility mod. Like, you know you have extra utilities, you have open blocks. I don't know if you'd class building ones in the same boat. Maybe, I, I guess. 
Chisel. Like, I quite like Chisel. Chisel's a good mod. I don't know if you'd class building mods in that same type of thing. If it has to be something like Extra Utilities, you know, Open Blocks, probably Open Blocks. It has some useful items in there. Extra Utilities is good, but I like the randomness of Open Blocks a lot more, I think, yeah. Oh, even though some of the stuff in Extra Utilities is, uh, is more useful, generally, Open Blocks has some really cool stuff, you know? Like, I love the uh, Slime Elizer. I love the... I love the... Uh, uh, the little arrow board and things. There's so many cool things in that, so, yeah. Uh, is there any item that I'd add to Britannia? What would it do? So, I don't know if you know this, but I speak to Vasky a fair bit. We got talking off uh, about six months ago. I've given millions of ideas over. One of the items in Britannia is from one of the items. Uh, it's something that I came up with. If you look in the uh, little description section, I think it's called the, the bottomless bucket, I think. Um, that was one of the ones I suggested over. It's got a little WTF geek thing at the bottom, I think. Yeah, um, if there's anything I would add, I just, um, then don't do that. <laughs> it would probably be, and I've asked this so many times, <laughs> and Vasky isn't going to put it in, but I always ask this. Whenever, whenever I get asked what, what, what do I think I should be added, it is a splash potion of mana. <laughs> I know, right? You have the potion of mana that you drink, and it gives you random effects. Sometimes it throws you in the air, your head drops off. I just thought, how funny would that be if you can throw it at someone, and it's just some random effect that just totally trolls them. Like, you could put it inside a dispenser or something, and it could fly out, and you could troll all your friends. That is exactly what I would have. There you go. A splash potion of mana. <laughs> what is my favorite ice cream? Now, I don't actually eat that much ice cream, but a long time ago, I went to a place called San Marino, or San Marino, in, I believe it's in Italy or Spain. I was really young back then, but they had pistachio flavored ice cream. It was green and had pistachios in it, and it was lovely. I don't know whether it's because it was so hot out there that it just, you know, anything would have tasted nice, but that stuff was the bomb. So, you know, if you're ever in any place like that and you get the chance to have pistachio ice cream, get involved. I know some of you guys, I think it's called um, gelato or something like that. Ice cream has like a bit of a different word, doesn't it? Um, but yeah, pistachio flavored is the thing. All right, let's move on. Where are we? Favorite ice cream. Live streaming. All right. So, am I going to be doing any live streaming? Am I going to be doing any more live streaming? When am I going to be live streaming? I get this asked this all the time, which is great because that means that some of you guys really enjoy the live streaming that we used to do. And currently, I haven't really had the time to do the live streaming. I've been spending a lot of time working on finalizing the updates for Natural Magic, kind of focusing on YouTube a little bit more because I went for a little bit of a time where I was doing like one video a day. I, I like doing about two to three if I can. The last couple of months have been a bit of a push. The last few weeks have been really hard because I've been working on getting the natural magic update out. That's why for the last three days I just took time off because I got it out. I thought, you know what? I'm just going to relax for three days, have a long weekend. Don't check Twitter. Don't go on Skype. And then when we come back, we'll do some serious work. So... Yeah, we're back now, and I'm thinking for live streaming, we are going to do it. It's definitely something that I want to get involved in. I think it's an untapped market, and Twitch is an amazing place to communicate with viewers, answer questions, just have a general good laugh, isn't it? It's something that's easily, you can easily set up as well. You don't have to record, you don't have to do post-processing, anything like that. If any of you guys do YouTube, you'll know that recording the video is the easy part. <laughs> the hard part is the time spent. Editing, processing, all that sort of stuff. It takes like three times longer than it does to make the video. It's ridiculous. And I spend more time doing that than I do anything else. So when it comes to doing Twitch, it's great because you can literally just click the like you can quick click the stream button on OBS or DX Tory, whatever you use, and boom, you're done. And then you just play the game and you talk. <laughs> It's easy, but finding the time to do that as well as doing the YouTube stuff is very difficult. It is something that I'm going to be doing. When I'm going to be doing it, I, I wanted to do it this week, to be honest. Um, but I need to get other videos out first. They will always take priority. YouTube is my priority over Twitch. I know some people have kind of moved from YouTube to Twitch, and then they do, like, post-VOD streams, highlights, and things like that. I, I don't want to do that. You know, you guys followed me on YouTube for ages. I'm not going to start kind of giving you secondhand rubbish coming from the Twitch channel. So I want to make sure that you get the decent content that you always get, as well as the live streams as well. Trying to find that nice equilibrium is going to be pretty difficult, but we will do it. We will do it, yeah. So, who knows? Maybe within the week. 
That's it's kind of my plan. Have I got a deadline on it? No, because I can't do deadlines to save my life. But it's something we're going to look into. So expect it fairly soon. What will we, you know, what will we, that doesn't want to come out. What will we be streaming? I have no idea yet. I was, uh, I was thinking of doing some RimWorld actually. I started, I wanted to play the new RimWorld alpha that came out and I thought, you know, if I'm going to play it, I might as well stream it. So we might do that first, maybe play some like mini games and things. I don't know. I'll come up with something on the day. I'll do it on the day. <laughs> Uh, what's next? Can I beatbox not to save my life? I used to know a friend that could. He was really good at it. Can I? No. <laughs> what was my... Oh, what's my favourite Minecraft mob? Whoa. I... Turn a blank on that one. Probably the Pex from... Um, from Farmcraft? Actually, no. The favourite Minecraft mob is the Treasure Goblin from my mod, Treasure Goblins, that none of you know about. <laughs> It took me ages to make it, texture it, get it looking real good. You know, eventually, I might actually put it in the Natural Magic mod pack, but they're like these little... If you ever played Diablo 3, it's... Or Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls, any of that, it's a parody to the Treasure Goblins. That's what I made the mod off of. Because I don't know if you know this, but I play a lot of Diablo 3. I'm heavily involved in the Season 2 stuff at the minute. Um, I love it. So, I thought I'd make a mod on the Treasure Goblins. I've already done the Loot Hoarder. I've already done the, uh, the green guy that drops, like, the enchanted books and things. I just thought it moves over really nicely, you know. As you hit them, they drop pennies and stuff. It's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. But I'm thinking I might put it in there. I'll probably never actually properly release it because I, I see all the hassle that mod authors get these days for stupid demands and things like that. I don't want to be doing any of that. <laughs> So if I'm ever going to release it to the public, it will be in a form that it can't be, you know, it can't, I don't want to put it up for everyone to download and then get millions of complaints because I'm not that good at doing modding or Java or anything like that. I've only learned it over the last year, so I would probably test it in something like Natural Magic, but yeah. <laughs> so favorite modded, uh, favorite Minecraft mob? Treasure Goblin, just you wait. Top Minecraft mob in the works, it's coming. How many years have you played Minecraft or modded Minecraft? So, I didn't actually play regular Minecraft. I've only played modded Minecraft. I know it sounds really strange. I have played regular Minecraft, but the first thing I ever played was modded Minecraft. I got Minecraft years ago, like years and years ago, and I started playing it, and I was not impressed. <laughs> I was like, well, what am I supposed to be doing? Like, you know, there's some sheep around and some trees, and I can dig. Brilliant. It just, you know, it just wasn't for me. I was in that stage of my life where I was more into shooting stuff than I was into building stuff. So I think I didn't play it after that for about a year <laughs> or about, it must be about a year I had it and never played it. And then I was watching YouTube. This is a long time before I started doing YouTube videos. And I watched, I can't remember who it was now, but I saw someone doing a modded Minecraft Let's Play and it was using Buildcraft, and I was blown away, absolutely blown away. I'm really into city builders and things like that, you know, with the banishes in the background, kind of gives you a good idea, doesn't it? I, um, I've been playing City Skyline the last couple of days, I managed to get an early one on that. So, I'm really into those sort of games, and I... Uh, it just blew me away seeing what you could do with it. You know, you could set up these industries and you could transport your goods around. You could have energy and things. You know, you had to properly mitigate the amount of power that you're going to use for different things. I loved it. Absolutely loved it. So that's when I started playing. So, how long ago? About three years ago, I think. Two and a half, three years ago. I'm pretty young. I'm pretty young to the Minecraft scene. But I only started when the modded Minecraft started, really. So, yeah. What is my favorite anime? So, so if you've come to any of the streams, I get asked this all the time because we always have anime music in the background. Well, not all the time, but generally, I'm listening to it and I start the stream and I forget this on. I think last time we had the whole Cowboy Bebop soundtrack going on for about an hour and no one said anything. And then I finally realized, I was like, oh my god, what have I been doing? Uh, no one said anything though, so they, they obviously liked it. <laughs> but yeah, uh, my favorite anime, I've got a few. I'm really into kind of the shonen stuff. I, I don't know why, I just like the action-y things of it. I've watched other stuff, though. Um, but I, I'm one of the type of persons that will binge watch a series. Like, if I find a series, I'll do it easily within a couple of months. You know, I watched all of Bleach in about three months, two months. That's like a lot of episodes. <laughs> That's hundreds of episodes. Uh, what else do we watch? Um watched One Piece up until... I've probably missed about 50 episodes. 
now from because it's still going, isn't it? So about 50, about 50 episodes. So I've watched up until about 50 episodes away. The newest anime I'm watching at the minute is Parasite, which uh, is really good. I really like it with Miggy, <laughs> his little hand, little hand monster. It's pretty cool. But my favourite one of all time probably has to be Bleach. I really like that series. I thought it was amazing. It's one of the first ones that probably got me into it. Second from that is easily Cowboy Bebop. And uh, Samurai Champlo, I, 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 Samurai Champlo, I loved that. That's like that's probably tied for first place actually. Like that one up there with Mugen, I really enjoyed that. So yeah, any of those, go check them out. What's next? Any pets? Oh man, we're on the thirty-minute mark. This is probably going to be yeah. We're going to have to do a two-part, aren't we? We've got so many more questions to go through. <laughs> it might even be like a three-part. What is this? I, I talk for way too long. All right. What? Have I, <laughs> have I got any pets? Yes, I have. I have three leopard geckos. One called... Uh, gone completely blank now. It's because we have... Oh, we have, I used to have older ones, and I always figured their names up. Um, we have Padme. We have Harrison Ford. You're going to see a bit of a trend going on here. <laughs> and we have Ewok. All named after Star Trek. Oh, Star Trek. Star Wars stuff. And we used to have another one that I called Baby, which was actually a baby. You know, I got it from the two that are in there. They had laid an egg and I hatched it and it was my one. Eventually, I gave that off to someone else. And they had an old tank, one of my older ones, and I let them have it. And, you know, so far it's doing pretty well. So, there's that. we got some fish downstairs. We've got a dog. A, um, a little black and white thing. <laughs> It's furry. It runs around and barks. It always barks whenever I'm doing videos. Luckily, it hasn't barked this time. But yeah, we got one of those, and that's pretty much it. We got a lot of animals. Like you know, we used to have a lot more than that. But since we moved house, it's been we've kind of laid off on the animals for the time being, <laughs> because we're not really meant to have too many animals in this place. But yeah, it's we we got a few. Maybe I'll get some more. I really want to get myself a bearded dragon, but I haven't got the room for that at the minute. Eventually, I will, but. Yeah, for the time being, the free geckos are more than enough for me. Uh, how long have I been uploading videos? So this is going to be the last question for today, I think. And then we'll do more after that. We've done a fair few today. I'm pr it's probably going to be a two free par. I apologize, but, you know, I don't want to... I want to keep the videos to about half an hour. I think that's an acceptable time. If you're on your lunch and you're listening to this, half an hour is a general time you got, isn't it? So I like to try and stick to that. How long have I been uploading videos? I've been uploading videos for about two years, I would say. About two years. Uh, we had the original channel, did the tech stuff, random game reviews, indie stuff. And we've had this channel now. So, yeah. About two years in grand total. It's been a good laugh. <laughs> Gonna keep going. And let's do one last question before we finish up. Why do you stop series? So I get asked this all the time. Like all the time. I think I'm always going to get asked this. One's never going to disappear. Why do I stop series unexpectedly? The, ch the reason is I don't look at series as series like you guys probably look at series. I know it sounds really strange, but modded Minecraft to me, or whenever I do a mod pack, it's not really a series to me. It's more I just play it until I, you know, I feel like I've done what I've done and I'll go check something else out. It's really as simple as that. I don't set myself a goal. I'll just play until I think, you know, a bit bored of this now. Let's go do something else. And I'll uh, I'll jump ship. So, I've kind of always done that, you know. It's uh, just the way I run things. I also, like I said many a times before, will not play something that I don't enjoy anymore. So, if a series is starting to feel very grindy and I'm just not enjoying it, or if there is something else that's taking up my time... I won't do it because I'm not going to force myself to do something. I don't get paid enough to do that. <laughs> Let me tell you that. <laughs> I'm not going to not en I'm not going to not enjoy myself for uh, you know a couple of people moaning at me. That's not going to happen. And I would produce much worse content if I had to do stuff that I didn't enjoy. I'm not going to bring myself to do that. You know, I've had a couple of people come to me before um, offering me small amounts of money. I'm a fairly small channel when it comes to this sort of stuff. Offering me, you know, fairly small amounts of money to go and play this game. And I just turn it down. It's not my cup of tea. I don't want to do that sort of stuff. I don't want to play stuff that I'm not going to enjoy. And I don't want you guys to have to watch content where I'm not enjoying it because it's going to be rubbish. It's going to be absolutely rubbish. And even if you think you're going to enjoy it, you know, you want this next episode or something, it's going to be it's going to be absolutely pants. So, yeah. 
<laughs> I apologize for that, but I've always done things that way, and I'll continue to do things that way. All right, guys, that's going to be that for this first Q&A session. I was hoping to do it all in this one, but it's, you know, it's, uh, how long are we on left? Like, we got, like, we're not even halfway through the questions yet. This is ridiculous. So we'll probably do another one, possibly two. We'll see. But, yeah, thanks, everyone, that came along and listened to this first part. I will see you guys soon for another one very, very soon. Have yourself a great day. Have a good as always. And bye-bye.